Hi Virgos, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her and Tell Row. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get to your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Here, picture perfect. Most important messages for the sign of Virgo. That would make sense because, you know, perfection, Virgo. So we have the nine of coins coming out. All right, there you are. And then we have the ace of coins. So you doing your own thing. Here's an opportunity that's being presented to you. The king of wands and the two of swords. What about this offer that you don't see? So it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or this person you were dating or want, that wants to date you. There's some burdens attached to the situation, so be careful. More messages for, who is this, Virgo? We have the six of coins and equal give and take. Taurus, and then we have the, six, the three of wands at the bottom of the deck waiting for something. You waiting for something, but you're tired of waiting for it. What are you waiting for here? Are you waiting for someone to give you something in return, right? The judgment card. Here you are making some type of clear choice or a decision after this payout or this waiting for things to be balanced. What's five of cups at the bottom of the deck? Someone feeling like they messed up the world card that's coming to an end. Or ending something makes you sad. Or you or someone else. Page of cups could have something to do with a younger cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. What's the nine of coins? The queen of swords. Clear understanding. You know what you want. You speaking your truth. The three of wands, see what's coming towards you. And then we have the nine of wands to the four of wands energy. Seven of wands energy. Someone's blocking out a, a relationship, a commitment. Page of swords. It seems like it seems like someone's spying or someone reveals some type of truth or you start to study something that makes you want to block this energy out. You don't want anything to do with this. So, yeah, you're ready to pa allow this pa the past to tower out. So, what's the ace of coins so it looks like you're you're remaining single when you're pulling back from something five of five of cups ace of pentacles is being is here with the five of cups so the five of cups someone's offering something to you because um they feel like they messed up with you the sun card at the bottom of the deck confidence leo energy knight of swords communication a higher from teaching and learning experience king of cup controlling one's emotions so controlling your emotions over this situation and and not um not losing your confidence over whatever this is i don't know why would that happen but what's the six of coins maybe what's being said to you so we have the four of wands a relationship a home celebration six of cups the past strength card here you are restraining yourself to hang in and seeing things differently is this you no longer entertaining the past or someone from the past because you see it differently now? You see the, 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 the immaturity, the conflict, the confusion that comes with it? What's the judgment card? The Knight of Swords. It's like you reach out or someone reaches out to you to say that I made a decision. The Two of Swords. There's an indecision or when I wanted to see something. Ten of Wands, there's the burden, and Seven of Swords, someone trying to get away with something, Knight of Wands, something happens out of nowhere, or in and out energy, Ten of Coins, this has been happening for a long time, Four of Cups, hoping for something, hoping for what? It's like looking to win out of the competition, looking for more out of a competition, even though someone is getting hurt. What is... What's the Queen of Swords doing here? Five of Swords. Someone's arguing. Arguing. There's an argument. There's a fight. This could be you going off about something. The Lover's card. There's a choice or a relationship, but then there's happiness. Someone's trying to fight with you. Someone's trying to argue with you. Why was someone trying to argue with y'all? I'm I'm not getting that right there. I feel like someone's trying to make it seem make something seem like it's all your fault. Trying to make you feel bad. What's the Knight of Swords? The Four of Cups. There's that hoping for something or the need to appreciate something already. And then we have the world the the full card, which is a new beginning. Two of Cups, a, a, a relationship. Six of Wands, celebration or being recognized. 
this four of cups on top of this nine of swords. Someone is hoping for something. Someone was hoping that you would accept an opportunity. This energy is split. I feel like someone was playing on someone's vulnerability. Hoping that, I guess, you or this person would accept something here. What the heck? What else do you want me to know on this? The Knight of Cups sideways. I would say a lack of compassion or someone doing too much when it comes down to emotions. Or they trying to like love bomb you type of energy. Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. And there's that Four of Cups energy again. I think you're not going to be involving yourself with these people or you... These people you used to involve yourself with, you might be leaving them alone. Because something is a cycle of pain, a painful cycle that you've been dealing with while dealing with these people. What's the Knight of Cups in sideways or almost reversed? Why are you showing me the Knight of Cups? The King of Swords, the Knight of Wands. Something was impulsive. The Knight of Swords. So it's some type of communication going on or someone doesn't want to hear something. Justice card, balance, lack thereof, energy. Someone's missing out on something or someone has to leave or remove themselves. The Knight of, King of Swords, Knight of Wands. What's the King of Swords doing? Showing a lack of compassion. The Three of Cups. That has something to do with these people. These people that's bringing in some type of confusion as well. Mixed emotions. It looks like, I'm telling you, it looks like you're either removing yourself away from these people or it's like a cycle that's being um, created. What's the Knight of Wands energy? The higher finna teach and learn the experience about impulsive moves, about making impulsive decisions with this King of Wands energy or uh, with taking actions. The way you used to take action in the past, maybe aggressive energy, strength card, restraining yourself, seeing things differently. I just said, I feel like I just made these, said these messages low key to Libra about, like, noticing where you were, where you may have made immature decisions in the past. So, learning from that here. What is the higher thing? Sun card. There's the confidence at the bottom of the card, at, at the deck, of the deck. Seven of Wands, protecting yourself, creating boundaries. Look at this. So, having the confidence to choose, to see through illusions, to know who's serious, who's not. Who's in or over their head? Can I get some advice? Who is this? Um, uh, Virgo? Can I get some advice, please? And thank you. The King of Coins. Eight of Cups. Wow. Looks like someone is walking away from me. The uh, Capricorn towards Virgo energy. A job. Someone's going to be working uh, working on their cre creativity and leadership. Um, someone is going to be, uh, someone's going to analyze the situation much better as, as you move forward. You're going to be slowing down. So can I get more on this king of points as the advice for the sign of Virgo? So here you are together. So we have the king and the queen of energy, queen, king and the queen of coins energy. Balancing out the energy within yourself when it comes down to earth energy, grounding yourself, um, co committing, turning some things around here after being going through some type of painful cycle. What is this? Yeah, this is rebalancing yourself after dealing with a whole, with a with with this have, having having to deal with this cycle. I don't know what this cycle is, but it seemed. It seemed very triggering. It seemed like you felt like you were betrayed time at the time at the time at the time at the time. But Spirit Source Universe was right there to help you move forward the whole time. So you could receive so you can receive and go towards your destiny. So I've just been wanting to help you. Can I get more on the Queen and the King of Coins as the advice? Create. Being creative. Manifesting abundance. Financial security. I feel like it has something to do with your cr creativity or some type of self-care. You know, like, it could be as simple as working out, doing hair. Um, you having a passion for something. Like, 
whatever it is, that's what I mean. You using that energy in order to create some type of financial security for yourself. Even a commitment or something like that when it comes down to a relationship. But make sure that you are analyzing the situation, that you are a better individual, that you know exactly what it is that you want. So you don't go head first into relationships not knowing what you truly want. You know? Have a clear understanding. Instead of winging at you, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I need to do. This is what I want. This is where I am so I can get to where I want to go. What's the Queen of Wands energy? Taking a different, you're doing something differently as you move forward. Here's, here you are battling it out, but you're doing something differently here. It looks like you're going to be um, harnessing Leo energy with the Five of Wands energy, the, the Sun card, Seven of Cups to the Seven of, Eight of Swords. Yeah, you weren't confused and trapped in your head about something about maybe okay since the since the sun card would it be about are you good enough you shining you showing the world your truest self you being who you truly are there's some type of worry there's some type of um um confusion involved with that that's keeping you stuck the spirit is asking you to be more uh be emotionally intelligent here. Know when to move on. Because here you are with the Hermit card. You're going within for your meditation. Getting more connected to source so that you can attract the things that make you happy. It's time, it's time for it's time for a new beginning. And I see you connected with different people as you move forward as well. So let's get a message from the Goddess Power Deck. And we're finished. Most important message for the sign of Virgo. Most important message for the sign of Virgo, please and thank you. Most important message for the sign of Virgo. Forgiveness, Bronwyn. And we have inexperience in reverse at the bottom of the deck. First of all, here we go, number seven. Says, sometimes life invites us into conditions that challenge us to the core. As the Celtic goddess, Bronwyn forgave those who caused her own death. Excuse me. <laughs> sometimes life invites us into conditions that challenge us to the core. As the Celtic goddess, Bronwyn forgave those who caused her own death by a broken heart. She asked you to set yourself free from the seeds of resentment that would surely choke the life out of your dreams. We are wounded by others and weave stories about our hurts and losses that live in our hearts and minds. We come to distrust the potential of love and connection. No matter what the story is or when it began, forgiveness is the key to freedom here. Forgiveness allows for mending and repair, opening the heart to give and receive. If you need to forgive yourself or others, now is the time to do it. Keep your heart open and you can begin again. Only beauty, freedom, and treasures are found in the spirit of forgiveness. The goddess Bronwyn is here to support you. And now let's read number 43, Persephone. And she says in reverse, The goddess Persephone has forced a, was forced to pay a high price as restitution for what she thought were innocent actions. Today, she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags. What? Today, she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging and is an encourage is in. Oh, my goodness. My bad, Virgo. Now, let me start it over. The goddess Persephone was forced to pay a high price as restitution for what she thought were innocent actions. Today, she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags. Here we go. Don't take a bite of the for forbidden fruit un unless you are willing to pay the price. The alignment test offered to you by Persephone, Persephone is simple. If you feel unsure in any way about what is being offered to you, step back and ask, do I have enough knowledge and strength to explore, what, explore this without attachment to what lies ahead? If yes, jump in. If no, consider the wisdom of waiting. For this is something better. For this or something better now, manifest for you in divine timing. Don't fall for seduction. It won't be worth the price. Okay? So, yeah, with these two cards, I, I could have been like, yeah, whoever this person you're dealing with, it's a perfect match and all this other stuff. But 
I, I just read the energy, energy. So, Virgo, that was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all that love me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.